Number nine, which of the following nuclei lie within the band of stability? And then we have 204 bismuth, which is BI. So is this type of isotope going to be in the band of stability, which is viewed by this graph over here, which we may or may not need. We will see. But anytime that you want to find out if um, an isotope or an atom is going to be in the band of stability, aka it's going to be stable or not, always find out your number of protons and your neutrons. Now, they give us a top number here, 204. This top number represents the number of protons plus the neutrons, because that is the atomic mass. But there's a missing bottom number, right? But that's okay, because we all have periodic tables. We can look on the periodic table to find out the atomic number. That's what this is, the atomic number. And the atomic number is special for each individual element. The atomic number is only the protons. So I look on my periodic table, and I try to solve for Bi, and there it is. It's number 83. So I know that I have 83 protons. And now let's try to find out those neutrons. Well, if the top number, 204, is protons plus neutrons, and the bottom number is just the protons, I can subtract them to find out what the, um, what the uh, number of neutrons is. So let's see, we have four and three, so that's a one. 20 minus eight is 121. And you could always, you know, just double check going backwards. That's a zero, that's a two. Yep, there you go. So you have 121 neutrons. Okay, so the first thing you should do is check to see if you have any magic numbers, which there's only seven of them. If you have a magic number, that automatically makes your, your isotope stable, and it would be in the band of stability. But I look here, and eh, I don't see it, right? I see an 82, but not an 83. So we can't get it by knowing that we have a magic number. Now, the next thing is that all isotopes with an atomic number that's greater than 83, so greater than 83 protons, they're unstable. But we're right at the cusp. We're at 83. So we still can be in the band of stability. So that means that we have to go to this chart. Now, the band of stability is only the blue. It's a really, really, really tight-knit group. All of the green possible isotopes, they're all unstable. They wouldn't be in the band of stability. So the idea here is that are you going to be in a really, really selective club or not? Now, this, this uh, graph that was given to us from the textbook, eh, it's, it's a little bit lacking, but I think we can do it. Now, we know that we're somewhere here, right? And I look up here. Uh, this has got to be 83 because there's no other blue afterwards, right? So that's, that's what I'm thinking here. Let me just see. This would have to be... So since this has to be 83, right? And 83, if I just extrapolate these two lines back, are we anywhere near 121? Mm, not really. 121 is supposed to be down here. I think it misses the mark because this has to be... This has to be 80. Those are around 120, 121. But since um, 83 is a little bit more higher, I would say that this is not going to be in the band of stability. So I would say no. And generally speaking, um, the 204 bismuth isn't as stable as the 209 bismuth. That's the stable one. And if you do look on your periodic table, the average mass for bith bismuth is 209, not 204. So I would say that this isn't in the band of stability. So there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more um, questions. Um, yeah, check the channel out. We have members uh, 
at the moment. So you got memberships if you want to help us out. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.